Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at what happens when things go wrong with your blends in Illustrator. So I've got a blend here and something has clearly gone wrong. I'm going to show you how to solve the problem. But before we begin, I've got more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of those courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends, and co-workers. Let's go back to Illustrator, and what I've got here in Illustrator is a couple of rectangles. There's a black one and a red one over the top, and I've got the same over here. And what I wanted to do was to create a blend from one to the other, and this is what happened here. And it's obviously not a blend that you would expect to have achieved from blending this shape with this shape. And the reason for that is that these is not this shape and this shape, it's this collection of shapes and this collection of shapes. And the problem is that when you ask Illustrator to create a blend from this, Illustrator is not 100% sure exactly what you want to blend. Now I'm choosing object blend and then make. And that's exactly what happens when I make that blend. I'm just going to undo this. Down here I've got the same sets of objects and before I make the blend I'm going to group these. So I'm going to take these two objects and choose object and then group. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, object and group. And you can use Control or Command G if you want to learn the keystroke. Now by grouping these objects I'm telling Illustrator I want you to treat this as a single object for blending, not two, so that we're getting all this overlap effect. So I'm going to select over both of these. Let's make that same blend. Object, Blend, Make. This time I've got a totally different blend result. Now it's looking seamless and that might not be the effect that I want, but I do have separate colors. If I want things to be slightly different, I'm going to select my blend, double click on the blend tool over here to open the dialog. I've got smooth color, that's why we're seeing this effect. If I choose specified steps and start decreasing the number of steps, you're seeing that we're getting these groups of shapes that are blending. So anytime your blend doesn't go the way that you expect it should, and if you've got multiple objects that you're trying to blend, chances are that you haven't grouped them. And so this is the kind of result that you're going to get. If you group them, then the effect is very different. I hope you've enjoyed this very brief tutorial. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.